channel welcome back to the channel and welcome back to original living you know yeah, man, and as you jal we live in originally you know yeah man so we're back at it again our next fishing day today we're there at a unique spot somewhere in St. Anne yeah, when you come to this area you come like you're in a different world you know different area the thing just look different the, 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 the visual from here is just different you know beautiful very beautiful here it's my people so we are here this morning four of us Kling Kling is here this morning Karandi and Kenado and Haina Salix so you know we're planning to do a rock side dive this morning because we came in this era yesterday and um, the water was nice at all, it was dirty but however though in the shallow area we see, get a little visibility and we see some barracudas in the shallow so we come back and the idea is we come a little further so we can get a little more, a little bit more distance on this way. So that is the idea this morning. Swim in the shallow, see if we can find some fish this morning. And as I said, the place is very beautiful, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. As I enter the water, I saw this jack. I only graze it, though. The visibility to me was the same as yesterday so I plan to stay in the shallow right throughout the dive there was a quab right here I saw next one here, but it hide me. So this was my first fish, a nice squab. And the power and the gun was too much. You can see the reflect and the spear. This was a nice one. These are the target species today. This area is close to the bank, but the bank is out a little bit further. But a drop off is here, I saw a few snappers and made a dive. This one saw me coming and make a run for it. I got no chance from it. The visibility here at the Japa was a little bit better, I could see. This school of Jack was heading up the sea, so I made a dive and picked out one of the big ones.
but it was swimming to and from, I couldn't get a him on it. And at this time, I didn't saw Kenado and Karan, so I knew that they head for the bank. So this is a jackpot and this one is loaded, two stingray was swimming around it. There is one of the stingray. So that's clean clean. We dive here yesterday and I saw a next fish pot. It is close by this area and it had a few jacks. So this is yesterday clip. You can see a few nice jack inside. And the temperature of the water is different. The water was much dirtier. Maybe that's why I couldn't see that one that I just dive. So I move on from the fish pot. While I was heading down the sea, I came across this huge turtle. This one is a hawksbill turtle. It didn't see me though, so I spoke it. I saw Nick squab here, made the dive on it. Give no chance. This was a lovely jack. And again the hay was impossible. This was a quab, a next lovely one. We wasn't seeing any bigger fish in the shallow here and I wasn't planning on coming out of the water empty and did. We did that yesterday. Kling Kling made a dive here for a butterfish but the butterfish went in the rock and he ended up spear a file fish. These were two butter jack. No him. So right here I saw two lovely bar jack. They were hunting, so I wait till one of them move on and eat the rock, then I dive. But the next one start to swim away, 
So the one that went under the rock follow and I got no chance with them. This was a lovely quab. Kling Kling showed me this one. This one is very fat. And at this time we saw Kenado and Karandi, they were out of the water on the rock side. They decided to walk on the rock back to the exit point. We didn't have any foot wear with us and the rocks are too pinty. So I and Klinkling decided that swimming was the best option. This jacket to my stream. <laughs> and also this one. Kling Kling showed me some squid and we decided to back them up but they were moving so fast I couldn't get a yeah man one I took the shot I thought I got one but it was only the thing, the defense thing that the squid lets off Kling Kling also took a shot but he didn't get one as well This was right where we should come out of the water so that's it for the underwater segment Yes, my people, so we're out of the water back, you know, all four of us. Yeah, man, we head down the sea and we, two of us swim come same place where we dive off from. Me and Karandi, Kenado and, and me, me and Kling Kling, Kenado and Karandi come out and walk on the seaside. Because them go a different place. Them go up on the bank and Kling Kling swim on the rock side down, so. So you know about reach back as a safe and so on and you know the dive was nice you know late in the evening you know and you know we get a good catch so I'll show you guys what we found today yeah. so this is my catch right here yeah man I find a few nice size dinner size fisher uh, you know this is my catch this is what I found today. It's a jack. And look how shady. Remember we didn't call that one there. But this is what I found today, you know. Good sizes. Yeah man, this is my catch. So real glad for this. This is cling cling right here. Nice little string of fish. Nice size jack on it as well. And one nice quab there. Mm -hmm. Jack again. Good catch is from Kling Kling, you know? Good catch, man. Good catch. Yeah, man. And me say, I me and Kling Kling did a swim. So, fish, fish them similar, you know? Fish them similar because we never, we not, we not go pan the deep, we stay in a day. Because we just say over the bank dirty. And we go close to the Barracuda bank. So me and Kling Kling stick close together in the shallow area and we find some nice fish as you guys can see. Nice fish. Yeah man. But however though, Karandi and Kenado head over the bank. 
and then find out that the water was lovely over there. So, this is what Kenado and Karandi find over by the bank. Yeah, man, four nice bar of my people. Four nice bar of them find in the bank, you know? Lovely boy. Yeah, I wanna look like him a go about eight pound. Mm. I wanna look like he's about uh, five to four pound on you say, you know? And look who wanna can we about two pound. He's look like he's an next eight pound one again. Yeah man, so I wanna look a jack, you know? Yeah, man. So I'm find four lovely barrel over a bank. And as me say, me and uh, Clean Clean don't go nowhere near a bank at all. Uh, we just said the water dirty because we came here yesterday. Me and Kenado and Karandi and we, we, we go to the bank yesterday and the water dirty bad. We don't see nothing now. So I never did a chance see this morning, but however, Kenado them still there. And this is what they found. Yeah, man, so a good catch, you know, for a lovely barracuda. Nice. So, I'm not for the car reason. Come on, so, you know, I'm going to do a clean up of my fish, you know. Where you say them now? Seven and a half and six. Seven and a half and six. And so the two big ones, seven and a half and six. Uh, we are at the run over there. How much is that now? Eight and a half. So then two are gone, you know? Yes. And two are gone. How much you say they went there? It's a 7.5 That's a 6 pound That's a 6 pound Two big ones then gone So I almost done scale up them here so This is for my dinner Roast breadfruit and fish today Yeah man, that's how I go on So my people don't go nowhere no. Cling cling over here so still I go on doing dirt Clean up the rest. Good catching of the weather yeah. See I come back. Maybe a two years from now my people me see. You know, try the bank and see if I can catch two, you know, cause I want one for my granny and my mother and I want one for myself. So I have a look one, you know? I'm going to look two of them, maybe two days from now or the next day from now. Any of them can see me. Over the bank two, three, and some more go over there. I'm going to carry on the one. I'm going to carry on the one. I'm going to string that. Yes, man. I got some man. I'm going to get some feet, you know? I'm going to go over there and borrow it. Yes, this is what me going home with. I give thanks to this string here. Can I do you go with? Empty and did I shoot the big fish? Eh? Mm, so that one is gone. I'm going to slice him up for the customer. You know? So when the customer receive this one, he can just break off the slices themselves, you know? Yeah, man. This one gone to but the customer and want this one a slice. Just want the whole you know? Mm. So that's the bar of them we get catch today. Mm. So my day are gone. Good 
catch to the air. Relax, you know, I'm tired, you know. I'm tired of that one, because I want to know. Nice, Jack. I'm tired of this one. Nice, Jack. This is a pretty customer, so I don't want a few months life. So I'm going to start time up. So we're heading away from the seaside now, you know. And as me say, we have two nice roasting breadfruit there. Eh? So then they are going to roast in the evening, you know. With my fish yeah. then, so it'll be my dinner. So stay tuned for that, all right? So I'm home now. Yeah, man, I'm me. Just a catch me coal fire, you know? Yeah, man, this is my original long time days coal stove, yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Outside, eh, see the darkness, so night catch us. Because uh, after 10 we jump into the water, so night catch us. Yeah, man, and this is what going on the, the fire, you know? Mm -hmm. Ooh, lovely. Roasting breadfruit, have them from yesterday. So, you know, them now got no time for roast. Yeah, man. So, just go on the fire. You know, get properly alloy it, get in the sour, get till the blazing come down. And then, me add on the breadfruit. You know. See the boy, you know, well seasoned. Mm, well seasoned. This is my catch today. Eh? season you know? so I do a simple look of cook with them you know? just fry and cook them make sure the gravy enough as a breadfruit that we know and the breadfruit for choke with yeah, man. so today's catch going on the fire one go yes man I'm going to try and i Yes, my people. So as we say, I just fry them. Like me, I fry them crisp though. And just add the rest of the stuff on them. Like the tomato, the honey, and the skelly, and the thyme, the hot pepper. Yeah, man. So I will cook up them in one, you know, cook down your callies. Look at this, my people. I mean, well, fine. Good. Yes, my people. So the fish are finished. Yeah, man. The fish are finished, huh? So just the breadfruit, yeah. Just the breadfruit. Mm, the breadfruit, them almost reach, you know, my people. You see them like that. And as me said, them now go hard for roast because they picked from yesterday. Nice, you know, man. All who know when breadfruit are roast. Real nice, you know. A few more minutes and I'm ready. We'll take them off of the fire, you know, and peel them up. Now, one go now, my people, you know. Yes, man. Let them finish up, you know. Huh? Yes, my people. Two breadfruit, well, peel and, you know. Ready 
this so I'm gonna do look at here out you know people so you know two of the fish are so, and some roast bread fruit so it's another wonderful day come to an end you know and this is my dinner yeah man it's been a while since I eat roast bread fruit so I'm looking forward to enjoying this one alright some freshly caught fish you know yes so I give a lot of thanks to this yeah man, and I give a lot of thanks to the supporters them too as well, you know? Yeah man, so just continue. Yeah man, and if it's your first time watching the video, yeah man, please consider and subscribing because it's a, it is a good channel, great channel, alright? Yeah, and I do hope to see you guys in the next one, alright?